The worn, faded poster stuck to the lamppost with a single thumbtack was a silent plea. It depicted a proud German shepherd, head held high, a mischievous glint in his eyes. The caption below read, Missing, Rex. Last scene. The words trailed off, replaced by a frantic scrawl, Please help me find him. Mark, Rex's owner, had pasted these posters across the entire city, his heart heavy with despair. Rex, his best friend, his furry confidant, had vanished three months ago, lost during a walk in the park. Mark had searched tirelessly, every park, every alley, his voice hoarse from calling Rex's name. The silence was deafening. Then, a sliver of hope. A phone call, a whisper of possibility. Rex had been sighted at a local shelter. Mark rushed there, his chest tightening with anticipation. A kind, weathered woman with eyes that held the weariness of countless lost souls showed him the cage. Inside, a shadow lay curled in a corner. A shadow with the familiar silhouette of Rex, but something was off. Rex, his Rex, had always been vibrant, his tail a blur of movement. This dog, however, lay still, eyes clouded with a sadness that mirrored Mark's own. He came in a couple of weeks ago, the woman said softly. He was frightened, thin, and withdrawn. We couldn't get him to play, to eat. It's like he's lost his spark. Mark's heart sank. This wasn't Rex. This was a stranger in his friend's fur. He thanked the woman, his head spinning with a dizzying mix of relief and disappointment. As he turned to leave, he heard a soft whimper. The shadow in the cage stirred. A pair of eyes, familiarly brown and soulful, met his gaze. A low whine escaped the dog's throat, followed by a hesitant wag of the tail. Slowly, the dog rose, a flicker of recognition dancing in its eyes. Mark stood frozen. It was Rex. It was his Rex, but something was different. A deep sadness, like a dark cloud, shadowed the familiar playfulness in his eyes. Rex approached the cage door, nudging it with his snout, his tail wagging feebly. He whimpered again, and then, to Mark's horror, a single tear rolled down Rex's cheek. The sight shattered Mark's heart. His Rex, his best friend, was broken. Mark knelt down, his own tears blurring his vision. He reached out, and Rex, with a desperate whimper, pressed his head against Mark's hand. The familiar scent of dog, of Rex, filled Mark's senses, bringing a wave of relief. He carefully opened the cage door, whispering, Come on, boy. Come home. Rex hesitated, then stepped out, his whole body trembling. He didn't jump with joy, didn't bark excitedly like he used to. He simply walked towards Mark, his tail held low, his eyes reflecting a deep, unfathomable sadness. Mark wrapped his arms around Rex, holding him close. He didn't speak, didn't try to cheer him up. He just held him tight, feeling the warmth of his fur, the steady beat of his heart. He knew, in that moment, that the journey to heal Rex's broken spirit would be long and arduous, but he was ready to walk it, side by side, until his friend's laughter, his joy, returned. As he walked out of the shelter, Rex's head was finally held high, his ears perked up, and a small, hesitant wag of his tail was the only sign that something was beginning to mend, something was beginning to heal. The tears that had streamed down Rex's face, they were tears of loss, but also, Mark hoped, tears of relief, of the reunion that had brought them both back from the brink. They were tears that spoke of a bond, forged in love and loyalty, that could withstand any storm, any loss, and emerge, stronger, in the end.